In an age where Donald Trump is president and the entire world seems to have gone fucking crazy, it can be comforting to remember that no matter how crazy things are, they're never as crazy as the educational videos that Jehovah's Witnesses make for their kids. So in an attempt to remind you that it could always be worse, unless you're a Jehovah's Witnesses kid, we dug up a little treat for you this week in the form of a couple of god-awful minis. And to show you we're nothing if not consistent, Heath, tell us, what will we be breaking down today? Okay, well, today we have a god-awful mini double feature. First, we watched Lesson 2, Obey Jehovah, which is the story of a little kid who learns a valuable lesson about how the warlock who magically created the universe really hates magic. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we watched Lesson 4, Stealing is Bad, which is about the spanish man in your head who reminds you that <laughs> stealing is bad <laughs> pretty much the whole thing and eli how bad were these minis well if you love pixar and they're all gonna laugh at you you will love this <laughs> mini this is something a serial killer draws to explain how it all began no <laughs> shit. All right, so let's start off with lesson two here. We open it with the blue sky, and it words, lesson two, obey Jehovah, and then we're going to hop our way into this insanity along with a cute little kid coming home from school, playing with a new toy, new little uh, Gandalf doll or something. Right, and this is Caleb. If For those who listened and remember the homophobic cartoon we did a little while back, this is her brother, and and Caleb looks like he's about to introduce a, a new Fallout game. <laughs> Yeah, but what he's really got is this little wizard doll, like an orco of some sort. Yeah, he's yeah, a warrior um, wizard, Sparlock. Yeah. Right. And uh, Sparlock looks like like John Ratzenberger got turned into the Monopoly guy. Almost exactly. <laughs> yeah, really. And this is, this. to be fair, this is also at least a little bit homophobic in this video, too. He's very clearly Sparlock. He's supposed to be dressed like a sodomite, I'm quite certain. Was like, he? <laughs> like... Like gay Mega Man, Dumbledore, and Tinky Winky, kind of all at the same time, if I was describing his... I have had that yeah. fantasy. Yeah, yeah, I have. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? No, and the little kid is going, he's doing the, like, little kid playing thing, and he's going, like, Sparlock, activate your magic! And it's just supposed to be that word magic lingering in the air, making us go, right. wait, magic? This kid, uh... Because the yeah. mom is like, hey, 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 slow down. What do you got there? Like, she reacts like he's got a wet dildo. Like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, silly worm. Like, that's how her performance, this animated character's performance played. And he's like, yeah, I got a, I got a magic toy. I'm, I'm a child who doesn't understand this is about to be a thing yet because I don't know the <laughs> invisible rules in your book. Yeah. <laughs> right. And she's like, well, why don't you sit down and have a snack while I get crazy? Well, and the voice actor here, I, I swear, like I have this, this playing along with a sex game, but not very enthusiastically attitude towards, the, towards this voice that like, you know, she's like, Oh, this is some, ridiculous shit like like i feel like this was not a jehovah's witness this was just some voice actress they hired and she's like oh my god this is the worst thing i've ever said for 25 bucks <laughs> anyway i hated mom's voice she's the worst especially when she said jehovah like yeah. that i hated it and she said like the whole thing she's she sounds like that elementary school teacher explaining something really obvious and acting like you don't get it when you clearly get it it was like, and now you carry the three. Yes, I fucking know how to add. You've been explaining this for weeks. Now carry the three. What the fuck? This is every woman that's ever explained to me I'm making a scene. <laughs> oh. A lot of women, to be fair. All rolled into one. Yeah, so Sparlock's been a very naughty wizard, so mom sits him down for a snack so they can have the talk. And because they're fucking crazy, the talk is about how pissed off god gets about magical toys and, and the first thing she, she introduces is she's like caleb is this toy magical and i wanted so bad crazy billionaire remake of this he's just like no mom it's a toy do you think it's magical it's just <laughs> pretend do you think it's not pretend <laughs> what's going on does that Talk make you fucking this. crazy mom <laughs> <laughs> yeah she says who likes magic satan or Jehovah. Oh, yes, yes. And I just wanted to be like, uh, that's a false dichotomy. Well, actually, it's even worse. That's a fantasy dichotomy, you stupid muggle. <laughs> Jesus. 
Well, to be fair, Mom, we haven't read Satan's book. Satan might hate the fuck out of magic, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the scariest fucking thing about this entire video is that they quit, the kid just goes, Satan. You know, not... That's an insane person question, Mom. <laughs> Just, yes, I do know the answer to that question because this is a horrible world and people like us elected Donald Trump. That is by far the most depressing part of this little adventure of ours here. Well, so far, we're only a minute and 26 seconds in. <laughs> yeah, I wrote in my notes here, this animator really managed to capture an abused child's reaction to getting in trouble for rules he doesn't understand. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, exactly. She's like, you know, the kid's like, Satan loves magic, and does Jehovah hate? Hey, yeah, Jehovah hates magic, and do you want to play with something that Jehovah hates? And you can tell that mom does. You can tell, but oh, no. Yeah. Anyway, so this is where she opens up her little book that I'm sure you can buy from a thing that they uh, also sell, where she's like, who are these people? And the kid says, that's Adam and Eve. And I... Pictured here in their early 900s. <laughs> yeah, Adam and yeah. Eve are not looking good here. They they look like dying Socrates in the death of Socrates, <laughs> the Hemlodges, and Mother Teresa. That's what they look like. <laughs> look like the cover of a Clan of the Cave Bear themed g, -g gilf porn. <laughs> I'm going to need that back, by the way. <laughs> in a rough week, I need to let out some stress. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. I'm almost done with it. They look like a Guns N' Roses show now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Not so great. real. <laughs> I oh. So now we get the like, they made God very sad. And this is fucking terrifying. This whole section here is like a, a child actor on SVU doing the like, we can't say rape on TBS thing. Like God got very <laughs> sad with them. And when you <laughs> disobey Jehovah, he gets very sad. And when God gets sad, he touches you on the no, no button. It's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> horrifying. Now, to be fair, when I get sad, I do curse infinite humans to painful childbirth and predestined hell for eternity, but I can't actually do I just curse them to that. I can't actually do it. But I mean, if I could, I would. I've so. seen him do it. I saw him go through airport security, and those were his exact words right when he got <laughs> out of the other side. <laughs> childbirth. My words were way childbirth. worse. Childbirth. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> childbirth. <laughs> so, yeah, so mom says, like, uh, do you want to play with toys that make Jehovah happy or sad? And yeah, sad is apparently their code word for like, do you want to piss off the massacre guy or whatever? And then we get this like everything turns dark scene where so a weird. snake shows up to tempt him with the Sparlock toy. So stupid. Satan is literally tempting a child to become evil with like the, the toy from a Happy Meal. Yes. Come to the dark side. Here's a... A UPC from a cereal box. <laughs> if you collect 999 more, you can get a, a pencil case, a magical <laughs> evil pencil. What the fuck? Oh. He's, get, he's working less and less hard as he goes. He's like, Trump's president now. I don't really have to work at this anymore, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, Harry Potter toys are the cursed apples of their day, according to this video. Yeah. And neither this kid or his mom wants to get the genocidal magic guy mad at him. So they go to the, like, the kid's going to, like, ceremonially throw it away a la goldfish funeral scene. Yeah, he's throwing his toy in the garbage. It's like Kirk Cameron throwing out a computer that he thinks is, like, physically full of porn inside. <laughs> I really wanted mom to make him beat the shit out of the toy, like the copier in office space. Yeah, like, right, right. Now let's it. chop his head off. Let's yeah. Let's strap a firecracker to it, son, or someone else will get it. <laughs> Burn it as God intended. <laughs> right. Seems to me like you're suffering Sparlock to live. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to point out, by the way, they went all the way outside, right? Like, so mom's not taking any chances of him just throwing it away in the kitchen garbage can and going back for it. They go all the way out to the recycling and put it in the big thing he can't reach into. And then mom is very proud at how easily he was coerced. And she basically goes, oh, Jehovah is very happy 
Jehovah loves you for obeying him. What a terrifying <laughs> fucking sentence. Can you imagine? Right. If I walked out right now into my living room and I was like, darling, I love you for obeying me. You'd all get to hear live as I coughed my balls out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And exactly, and look, that is not how love works. Like sending that message to children, the message that this thing sends, which is like, you know, love is a thing that is contingent on obedience. That's a terrifying message, but it's all set to the sounds and animations of Wii Sports Resort. So it's really hard to decide how to feel about this. Right, because she immediately goes, hey. You know what I want to do? I want to go pretend that I didn't just abuse you. And he's like, me too. I want normalcy. I, I normalcy. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, so they go to ride bikes. Non-magical bikes. And now that we've learned the all-important lesson about placating the magical genocidal space wizard with our doll selection, we can move on to a lesson from the J-dubs uh, that they consider at least to be two spaces less important than that last one, and that would be lesson four, <laughs> stealing is bad. Now, this video is going to start us off in a supermarket where we meet uh, stoned nine-year-old Caleb once again wearing a Calvin shirt this time. And he's bored. Looks like he could use a deadly dose of niacin. I'm just saying, yes, I know, <laughs> I know, different cult, but they all sort of blend together. <laughs> So, yeah, so mom calls him over and he passes a display of lollipops upon which he ejaculates. Yeah, but not exactly lollipops like you're probably picturing, because apparently these people haven't seen a lollipop since 1930. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what year do they think it is? Like, I feel like Al Jolson in blackface is going to tap dance their bags to the car. Like, what the fuck's happening? I'm because sure we'll America come across a J-Dub video where that happens. I, I'm not, we, we, let's not rule that possibility out. <laughs> But yeah, he lusts over the, the lollipops and he grabs a double armful and then his mom says, we hear mom off screen who's probably about to hang herself because she finally saw the video she did the first time, say, no candy, Caleb. And I wrote in my notes, are they not allowed candy? I know they don't get birthdays. I literally don't know what crazy things J-dubs <laughs> are and aren't allowed to have. Well, at the very least, Caleb's not allowed to have any candy today. But as he's setting all of the lollipops down, he holds one back and has a dastardly thought. And, and I'm thinking to myself, this is a ridiculously difficult shoplift to pull off. I mean, the size of this lollipop, think gum, candy bars, that kind of <laughs> shit, Caleb. Cigarettes, much right, easier. Because of the way this is animated, it looks like Caleb is genuinely considering shoving that lollipop up his ass. He puts <laughs> it like back, exactly and it's supposed happens. to be like... In the back pocket, <laughs> but it very much I've had that moment, and yes, I'm not allowed to go to shop right anymore. But that's not the point here. What we're we talking about? What happens in the movie? Yeah, <laughs> Caleb's literally uh, planning to keister a lollipop. It's the size of a ping pong paddle. Well, right, it's the right. crazy old lo like go with a blow pop, dude. That's delightful. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's about but breathing. Luckily, Caleb. <laughs> right before he anally penetrates himself with the. Uh, with a lollipop, the Eli Hispanic man in his head <laughs> speaks up, asking if he really wants to do this. Yeah, yeah. apparently Jehovah is the Dos Equis guy, and <laughs> that's what he talks wrote, to. Is that you, Cheech Marin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't always threaten children, but when I do, <laughs> I prefer J-Dub's kids uh, about to sodomize themselves with lollipops. That's Terrifying. not the first time Heath has said this on that, that on this show. <laughs> All right, I'm recycling lines, whatever. <laughs> and I love to, okay, so here's the formulation of the question. When the Dos Equis guy shows up in his head, he goes, if you steal, will you be Jehovah's friend? And I'm like, what's with this friend shit? Like, you're going to show up at God's house for the game. He's going to be in there turning the lights off with all the angels and shit. Just, just wait, just wait. He'll go... Like, yeah, you awkwardly run into him. Oh, I thought you said you weren't going to the beach today, God. Yeah, I am. Um, oh, you know, Omnipresent. Karen. So, <laughs> yeah. But luckily, Caleb makes the right choice. And so he doesn't steal the lollipop. I know you guys were in suspense there. I wanted to, like, build it up for you a little more. But no, Caleb does not rape himself with the... It's not rape when you do it to yourself. Caleb does not... You can be, I guess. Never mind. Yeah, this is dark, dark, dark territory we're going. Playing. 
It's been a weird <laughs> week here at the show. <laughs> but uh, I just want to point out that, like, at the end of this video, this kid does not, like, know why it's wrong to steal lollipops. He doesn't have, like, an innate understanding of what's wrong with theft. He just thinks a wizard is going to torture him later if he does. And that's what this is. That's, like, what they're going for. Absolutely. This is not why stealing is wrong. This is the voice you heard coming out of your lamp disapproves. The yeah. voice, <laughs> right. And by, the, by this by this short's own logic, if the voice coming out of the lamp was like, kill your sister, Caleb, kill your sister, and remember, live dangerously, I'd be like, okay, yeah, sure, why not? That's the rules. <laughs> All right, well, rather than burn our thumbs in the molten iron core of the earth by trying to point them far enough down to express our dissatisfaction with this clip, I'm simply going to ask you this. If these were lessons two and four, what was the connective tissue here? What the fuck was lesson three? Ooh, uh, mm. I'm going to go with learning about animals in which mom drowns a box of kids' kittens for being disobedient <laughs> while dad watches. <laughs> <laughs> strokes himself uh all right uh lesson three lesson three um there was nothing behind your ear satan had the coin in his hand the whole time <laughs> i have no idea spoiler and 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 with that we'll bring god awful minis to the close but uh, for those cross podcast traditionalists among you we'll leave you with the breakfast club close Jehovah's witnesses not really allowed to sing songs Jehovah started taking Prozac when J.K. Rowling got about $850 million for her soul. Sparlock went on to inspire the other toys of the dump with his satanic promises of vengeance. Eli's Rule 34 Tumblr of the mom in these videos still only has one subscriber. <laughs> it's me. I'm the subscriber. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Kill a Pennsylvania. Magic's evil.